everybody. This next pattern is called the spruce hen. Very similar to the light spruce or dark spruce. The only difference is the, the wing on top. you got a uh, hen, brown hen uh, feather for the top. So I'll put the recipe in the description and explain the materials as I go. First off, I've got a number eight. This is actually a terrestrial hopper hook. You can use a standard streamer hook, but I kind of like the band on these. Any of the spruce patterns, I think, look better with that. Slight bend in them. So I'm putting some O2O weighted wraps on it. Nine or ten turns. Doesn't have to be too far up there. Maybe two eye lengths behind the eye. Got some black 70 denier UTC. Build a little dam right here. Take it up front. Same thing. And just a few turns to help lock it in right there. You don't have to worry about building a ramp right there. The junction between the wraps and the, the rest of the body. It'll be red floss body up to those wraps. Then you'll go to the thorax, which is going to be a fairly bulky peacock curl. So lay your base down to about the, the barb. Now I like the... Uh, Kind of bulky tail. You've got peacock sword fibers here. Not too bulky, but four or five of them I think looks good. So a couple wraps. Take a look at it. All right, make sure you're on top where you want to be. That looks good right there. A couple more wraps to lock it. Now trim off these front ends right here. Now, the next piece is gold wire rib. I'm using size brassy on this. You could, with this size ply, you could probably go up to a medium, but I think the brassy looks fine and we don't need any extra weight. So I'm leaving it the full length of the body here up to these weighted wraps, just wrapping it smooth. And then we'll work on the the body just red floss multi-strand silk floss here lick your fingers if you need to pull that in and catch it in back here to where we're going to start our wraps bring your thread back up to the weight let it hang right there. That's as far as up as we're going to take this red floss. So, just be careful in those first few wraps. If you hit the point of your hook, you will start splaying this floss and it'll just be a big mess on you. I mean, you can recover from it, but it makes it uglier and it's a little bit more of a pain. Now, if it starts to spread out on you like it's doing a little bit right there, just give it a little counterclockwise spin and should take care of it in the next wrap or two. And conversely, if you want it to spread out, you know, spin it the other way. I'm not worrying about a taper or anything here. I mean, it looks nice if you have a little bit of a taper, but it looks fine without it. What really sets it off is this this gold wrap which looks pretty cool on it. So go ahead and snip your floss off. A couple more wraps to lock that in. Now just evenly space wraps with your rib. Probably going to be four or five Now some people will tie the spruce, they will go ahead and put the hurl on and then have this, these rib, this rib wrap go all the way up through the peacock hurl. And I do that sometimes too, but I'm going by the original instructions for this pattern and they didn't do that. Whoever it was that first came up with this fly a hundred years ago. So just spin that off, 
Now we're pretty much done with our body. Next up, thorax. Peacock hurl this time. Two strands. Break, uh, snip off or cut maybe the first inch or so just to get rid of that brittle area. And get this. That's yeah, good right there. Bring your thread back up to the eye. Now I'll give this a spin. I'll just make a little rope out of it. Lay down a base, go all the way up, and then I'm going to bring it back down just to make it a little bit thicker. Might have to give it another spin halfway through. Now that looks probably thick enough, but let's go ahead and just make it a little bit thicker here. Don't let it unwind on you. Which now they are a little bit. But that happens. Let's see. Try to get them back up a little bit closer together before I tie it off. Okay. Two locking wraps behind should be good to get that. Go ahead and snip that off. Now let me get a few more since that last piece was a little bit loose. Okay, so next piece is just your hackle. I'm using any any brown soft hackle will work. I'm using the speckled speckled hand here. Pull out a couple of webby feathers on the, the bottom there. Just tie it. I'm going to put the concave side toward the hook. Two or three wraps right there. Now fold that back over on itself to really lock that in. This thing will pull out on you if you're not careful. You don't have a lot to work with. It's a pretty small feather. So you might need your hackle pliers. I'm only going to put two wraps on it, but still. Let's see. Want to spin around on me? That's fine. We can preen these back as we go. That's one and a half, and there's my second wrap right there. Go ahead and catch that in. Now, snip off the tip. Now, let's get these pointed back before we put our feather on our feather wing so just pull those back a few wraps right there should do it build a little bit of ramp so we've got an easier base to put the the wing on that's that looks fine right there got a couple of odd looking feathers sticking out the top you can either poke them back and bury them or snip them or ignore them okay so now this is how this differs from the, the light spruce or the dark spruce. Just plain old hen. Plain old hen feather. Now swap it with your hands. You want to pull the pull all these off. And I found it easier to pull a couple more off on the bottom than you do on the top. So you see that? Right? Let's see hard to see in the cut off the top of the screen but maybe when I put that down now it is going to ride high that's that's part of the pattern it is supposed to look about like that so let's get these couple of medium wraps before we really secure it and make sure your wing is where you want it get a position are we on top pretty much so I think that looks fine right there go ahead and a couple more locking wraps before we snip these stems off here so it's turning a little bit on me okay 
think that's fine. Now let's go ahead and bury these right there. Now I got that one right there. That's annoying me. It didn't break, so we'll go ahead and trim it. And we got one more there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I can see it. Okay, so that's about it. Just smooth out your head. Doesn't need to be tiny. It is a streamer. I'm going to put a big dollop of head cement on it anyway. So, yeah, I think that one looks fine. Four or five turn whip finish. And some head cement. And we're about done. That top feather is, the front feather is a little bit higher than the, the back. And I'm going to use some, go ahead and put some UV resin, one drop of this on it. Spin it around with my bodkin. Now, of course, you can always put two coats of head cement on this if you really want a sturdy fly. I rarely need them that sturdy. I usually lose them before they start falling apart on me. So put your UV light on it here for 10 seconds or so. And there you have it. The spruce hen. Pretty easy pattern to tie. Maybe five, um, eight minutes or so I think if I'm not talking about it and trying to make a YouTube video but it's a good pattern uh, put more weight on it if you want to get deeper however you want to fish it just like any streamer just like the light and dark spruce works about the same so anyway hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching